Movement Competency Mobility Training Every movement that we do has a connection to the vision of our body. We must know the limit of each division's movement, coverage to avoid injuries. Movement competencies are essential to participation in physical activity. If movement competencies are not developed and nurtured from a young age, this can lead to inactivity and the health and social problems linked to inactivity. The following graphic provides examples of how movement competencies set a foundation for participation in different physical activities. For example, if you can run, you will take part in track and field. As well as, if you can throw, you will take part in baseball. And if you can swim, you will take part in scuba. Movement competencies are divided into more specific skills including sending, receiving, transporting, body control, and coordinated movements. Sending skills includes how a child moves or sends an object away from them. This can include throwing, kicking, headbutting, or other creative methods. For example, if the goal of the game is to hit a target, the child has a number of different options. He or she could throw underhand or overhand, or kick the ball aiming for the target. Receiving skills include how a child catches or receives an object. This can include catching, using a foot to stop a ball, dropping an object with their body, or other creative methods. Transporting skills include different ways to move around the environment such as walking, running, hopping, skipping, and jumping, but also rolling and tumbling. Body control skills involve balance and skills that require us to move one part of our body while keeping the other still. It can include body control skills while stationary, for example, standing while putting on shoes or reaching up to get an object from a high shelf, or while moving, walking while balancing on the curve of the sidewalk. Coordinated movements are how a child combines the different types of movement skills together in everyday activities and play. This can include catching a ball while running or navigating an outdoor playground. Mobility training it combines mobility exercises that increase the range of movements and motions your body can perform, as you can see on the screen. These include flexibility, but also balance, pliability, and strength. The full combination is the best way to avoid injury. Mobility training helps prevent muscles from becoming tight, immobile, and suffering from an all-around lack of movement, again, leading to potential injury. We can only get away with poor and limited mobility for a certain length of time before our body tells us we've had enough. For your performance task, listen to the instructions. For your performance task number two, you only have to choose one that you are going to perform among the three choices indicated below. You may create your own training or exercises, or you may refer to the attached video links. The first one is the activity number five on your module six. It is uh, performed individually. Just interpret the five exercises written on that module. Next is the mobility training individual also. Just you may refer to the video, attach video links. The mobility training or daily stretching, pwede nyong gayahin. Pwede rin kayong gumawa ng sarili nyong mobility training. And the third one is the movement competency screen. It can be by partner or by group. Lagyan lang ng name yung mismong video kung sino-sino yung nag-perform dun sa movement competency screen. Pwede nyo ulit gayahin yung video links na naka-attach below or pwede rin kayong gumawa ng sarili nyo movement competency screen. 
Uulitin ko, ito ay pwedeng with partner kung tatlo kayo, apat, or by group. Pwede rin na isa lang yung magsasubmit ng video. Make sure lang na indicate yung pangalan. Tapos, yung mga hindi naman magsasubmit dahil nakapagsubmit na yung leader, lagyan lang ng private comments. Na si ganito yung nagsubmit ng video at kasali kayo dun sa sinabit na video. Okay? Ito yung activity number 5 sa module 6. So, meron dyang limang activity na gagawin ninyo. Hindi siya pwedeng time lapse. So, lahat ng performance nyo ngayon ay hindi pwedeng time lapse. Kasi kailangan kong makita na ginawa nyo siya ng tama. Okay, uulitin ko. Kung ano yung mapipili nyo doon sa tatlong choices, make sure hindi naka-time lapse. Okay, then follow the rubrics. For your rubrics, perform your own mobility training or movement competition competency screen properly, 80 points, and functionality is 20 points. Please avoid submitting late para hindi nababawasan yung grades nyo.